Hello everyone. So this is Amanda. She's the dark abdomen you see down there with a few legs peeking out. And she has been a very good mother. She has produced two egg sacs in there, uh, which is actually a little bit annoying. So I've been dating when they make egg sacs to try and figure out how long it takes for them to develop and I didn't separate her from her egg sac and I can't tell those two apart. I don't know which one came first. So anyway, one of them is from the 14th of September. Today is the 26th of September so it's been sitting there for 12 days and then the other one came along six days later on the 20th. So one of these is 12 days old and one is six days old and I don't know which one is which. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to separate good mommy Amanda from her egg sacs and I'm going to put the two egg sacs in separate petri dishes and then I'm going to open them up and see if I can tell the difference. That's all. So we'll just, we'll just get an idea of how quickly these things are going to, to be developing for us. Uh, it's also possible that, I don't know, maybe all the eggs died and I'll open up one of these sacks to find a festering mass of corruption. Won't that be fun? So that's our adventure for today. I have no idea what we'll see. So let me stop there while I separate these out and put them in dishes and then we'll peel them open. Okay, mission accomplished. So I separated out these two egg sacs. Uh, there was a difference. So this one, Amanda didn't care about. I just flipped that right out of the vial. She was unconcerned. I put it in here. This one over here though, Man, she clung to that thing like near death. So I guess we can say that of her, of her two progeny, her two families here, this one is her favorite, her definite favorite. It was a real struggle to get her to part from it. So what I'm going to do is let's take a look at that favorite one first. See what's special about it. Maybe it's closer to hatching. Get those out of the way. Watchmaker number five forceps. My favorite. They're home to a nice point. Well, at least the one on the right is home to a nice point. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. This is not good. Oh, there's some eggs, yeah. I squished one. I saw fluids coming out. I didn't want to see that. Let me focus this a little better. Hmm. So there's some damaged eggs in there. So not quite the rotting mass of corruption I feared. But if I keep damaging them, it will be. This egg sac just seems to be a little snug, a little bit more tight than the one I opened before. But there are no little spiderlings in here yet. I don't think it's down there. Okay. So there's a nice patch of eggs there. I made a mess with my first hair so there's some crushed eggs in there too but oh well I'm 
Okay. So not totally dead. But these guys have been sitting here then for 12 days and they haven't yet hatched out. Let's set these aside. So mama's favorite goes over here, out of the way. Here's the one she didn't care much about. I'm working at a slightly higher mag than I'm comfortable with, just so it's all visible. I usually like working on a much lower power this kind of crude manual stuff. Oh. Okay. I think you see the difference. There are little spiderlings in here that have recently hatched. So I'm going to assume, since this is more advanced than the other one, that this egg sac is 12 days old. Get that into the field of view. Yeah, I'm looking through the eyepieces and sometimes it's a little tricky to keep it centered for the camera. But yeah, look at there, little spiderlings. So that's an egg sac at 12 days. Go up and power a little more. And there are some lovely little baby spiders, all pale, recently hatched out, sitting there in this nice roomy egg sac. So I guess the mama spider liked her youngest babies best, who were more fragile, unfortunately. So there, I've learned something. So we got, so 12 days, we got spiders inside of the egg sac. I've got some more that I've dated over in the incubator. And I will be able to catch them a little more accurately in time. And what I will be doing is, I think I'll open another egg sac when it reaches the age of about, oh, nine or 10 days and see if what it looks like. Okay, but if it takes about two weeks to hatch out spiders, that's that's doable. I could live with that. Okay, we learned something. Good enough for today.